Hello, fellow comic book lovers, collectors, and aficionados. Vin Crew here with his most current comic book haul. And uh, this one's going to consist of, boy, just about everything. A little uh, eBay, IG, um, uh, local comic shops, uh, half-price books, Walmart, <laughs> lots of stuff. So, But before we get started here, I just want to thank everybody who was uh, who took uh, part in my uh, support of comic book at Excel. I say it all the time, but it, it just, it, I'm always so nervous whenever I do these sales, and it's just so humbling and so uh, reassuring uh, um, when everything ends and, and I uh, end up uh, selling a few books, and it's the only way that I am able to ever get any of these, some of these books that I have in my collection is because of you guys doing this, so I really thank you from the bottom of my heart, and uh, and uh, we'll keep doing these hopefully. Uh, couple three times a year but uh, let's get started here this first stack of books came out from one store this is the new avengers illuminati number one first print i uh, gotta say i did go to see dr strange uh on saturday the day after it opened and um you know i enjoyed the show it was a little bit different than uh some of the other marvel stuff but uh yeah and uh, i'm not going to go into any spoilers or anything but um yeah uh teen titans 43 this is the first appearance of enigma who is the riddler's daughter this is some people want 40 45 dollars for this book but it's probably about a 10 dollar book right now uh superior iron man number two first print first full appearance of Superior Iron Man, I believe. Uh, Bodies, number one, has been optioned. Uh, some Scotty Young stuff here. Uh, Armor Wars, number one, Scotty Young. Uh, Civil War Two X-Men, number one, Scotty Young. And Rocket Raccoon, number two, second print. This is Miss um, Marvel, number 11, first appearance of Lockdown. Kind of, not that popular of a book, but it's gaining some traction. It's probably ten, fifteen dollar book on a good day. Uh, Power of Shazam number five. This is the first appearance of a couple of people: uh, Captain Nazi and uh, Madame Libertine. Madame Libertine. And uh, the reason I picked this up is I was reading an article. I can't remember who wrote it, but it seemed a little interesting. And uh, they were talking about possible things that could happen in the Peacemaker Season 2. And they were thinking that Captain Nazi, who was the leader of the Fourth Reich, who makes his first appearance here, could uh, turn up as one of the bads in uh, Peacemaker uh, Season 2. He has some ties with the uh, White Dragon and things of that nature. So, yeah, I came across it and decided to grab it. Uh, grab some... Pepe Le Pew books here. This is uh, Bugs Bunny number two. It is a newsstand, and there is Pepe right there. Uh, Looney Tunes number one, just because it's a Looney Tunes one. It's a newsstand, and Pepe's right there. So, And I got Marvin the Martian, too. You got to love that. Um, some great covers here. Here's number 49 of Looney Tunes, number 66. Number 116, I really like that cover. <laughs> um, 127 and 153 are all Pepe Le Pew, who I believe has been uh, censored or something. So, um, this is got to give a shout out to Why Not Art. Uh, he showed this on his IG page and really fell in love with the cover. And they had it at the store, so I grabbed it. It's called Awards World or World of Ward. Uh, wow, in other words. And this is all just nothing but pinups from Jack Cole and, and whatnot. And I uh, just really, really enjoyed the cover. This would be an mmm cover for beauty, I think. Um, Cataclysm number three three ultimates uh this has something to do with miles morales and it's escaping me i apologize uh oni number one just uh cover by on this one so just uh, like the cover uh speaking of a cover by this is stephanie hans i believe uh namora number one one shot really a nice cover there 
Uh, yep, Stephanie Hans. Finally, join the Madman Atomic Comics number 15 club. I know Poor Man's Comics has about 30 of these. <laughs> but this is number 15, the Bowie uh, homage. Um, Plastron Cafe. This is a four-issue mini that came out early 90s by Eastman. It's um, from the Mirage um, uh, brand. And what's interesting about this is if you're a TMNT fan or more specifically a Casey Jones fan, this has a mini or a, there's several stories in this. And one of them is a Casey Jones story, which goes throughout the, the four issues. So uh, early, early uh, Casey Jones solo story. So there's issue number one, number two, number three and number four these don't go for a heck of a lot you probably find them in a dollar bin if you're really patient um but uh if you find them and you're a casey jones fan you might want to pick them up all right and then lastly from this shop nova number one the cosplay variant all right Okay, so this is Action Comics 255. This is uh, still part of my never-ending... Um, sorry about that, just wanted to refocus. Part of my never-ending uh, trying to find all the Bizarro first appearances. Not only that, but it's an Action Comics, uh, early uh, Silver Age uh, Action Comics and it's the fourth appearance of Supergirl. So a lot of uh, things going for this book, so I had to get it. But this is first appearance of Bizarro Lois Lane. All right, and then uh, trying to work on my Bronze Age Legion of Superhero stuff. I've got 95% of it, just some sporadic issues here that I was missing. Uh, Action Comics 381, Action Comics 382, 384 and 386 all had a Legion of Superheroes uh, backup story in there. Uh, this one for, I don't know, seven, eight issues in that Legion uh, run. So, And then speaking of Legion uh, Superheroes, this is probably the last somewhat key i just well it's it's a good book i mean i need to upgrade this this is a really low grade copy there's some writing and a little uh something going on right there um but it's a placeholder for now i didn't pay much for it this is action comics 293 this actually does have a lot going for it but it i just think it's a little overinflated right now because it's the first appearance of the legion of super pets and um, that's been going to be a, a, a yeah, movie, I believe. But there's also, this is the second appearance of General Zod and the first appearance of Bizarro Luther, Lex Luther, in this issue, too. So there's three good things. Plus, it's an Adventures comics that I needed. So, uh, yeah, um, some homage covers here that I uh, picked up. This was an eBay buy. This is All Out Poo. Uh, this can t uh, obviously is a swipe to the moon, uh, Werewolf by Night 32. Um, and I was, just, as I told uh, Poor Man's Comics, uh, we were texting each other, DMing or whatever it's called. And um, and I really like these poo covers. I really do. I'm an homage guy, and uh, and except they just want too much for them. And I jokingly said, if I get these for 20 $25 or less, I'd probably be pooing all day long, right? <laughs> but um, so this one, I did get into that little sweet spot here. So I was happy about that. Um, Radiant Black number one, I believe this is, is an homage to the Hulk 340. Those 340s are really I'm a sucker for. Another 340 homage to the Gwen, Spider Gwen, Gwen verse number one. And uh, this is a Daryl Chicken variant, I believe. Um, and the design variant to Hulk. I don't know what number this is. Number one, I believe. Uh, but another Hulk 340 homage. So happy about them. Uh, and then lastly, another homage. This is Blue Flame number one. This is a Green Lantern 49 homage. One of my favorite covers of all time, Green Lantern 49. So I'll pick those up whenever I can. And 
Betty, uh, these are some Dave Stewart covers. I haven't had a Dave Stewart uh, score in quite some time, but uh, or Dave Stews, Dave Stevens. Oh my God, did I say Dave Stewart? Uh, Dave Stevens. Let's get that correct. Sorry about that. Betty Page, Queen of the Nile, number three, and Madman Comics, number four. All uh, both Dave Stevens. And um, this is Punisher number five. This is the uh, Marvel 50th anniversary part of that set. It's another set I'm working on. I need a lot of these to get even close to, I don't even think I have half this set complete. Um, but this is a New Mutants nine, or 80, uh, this is the first cable is 80, geez, why am I brain farting that one? I wanna say 86. 82 or 86 i know no oh man oh, it's been a rough day but yeah i love this book it's a one in 50 by uh mike uh, uh can't read that last name sorry all right so this next group of books here when i was growing up in the 70s and early 80s there were things called midnight movies in our area where at midnight theaters would show movies and uh, I spent a lot of time watching these. That's where I saw The Wall, uh, Wizards, Heavy Metal, um, Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> and I was just a small teenager, 12, 13 years old, Rocky Horror Picture Show. All these were all midnight movies and absolutely loved them. We'd stay up all night then and uh, we would party and, um, but whatever. And, but one of the movies that I really, really, really enjoyed watching was this one here warriors um and this was a midnight movie if ever it came out as a midnight movie i would always go and see it and now in this it came out is a mini a little uh, mini series by dabble five issues super hard to find my god is it hard to find but was able to finally complete the set so now i bought a lot of them this one here this is a double this is number one number two is not a double Number three, or number three, I already own. That's the one with the uh, the baseball furies on the cover. And this one here is number four, which is not a double. Number five, which is not a double. And then Jailbreak, which is uh, like a second one, which just is a one shot. And this is a double also. So now I finally have that set complete. Yes. <laughs> and uh, Prince, the... Uh, Three Chains of Gold. I live in Minneapolis. I'm a huge Prince fan. So whenever I find a Prince book I don't own, I will jump on it. Got this all the way from Hawaii. Um, and then uh, this is like a World's Finest number one. It's a, um, it's like a hip-hop kind of variant. Not a hip-hop album, but uh, it's a Nathan Zerdsey variant. I really like that, so I had to grab it. And then I grabbed the James Obar um, West of Sundown, one per store uh, variant. I love James Obar. I really, really hope this Crow thing gets some traction this time. So happy to add that. All right, uh, Super Team Family number 10, I believe this is. Uh, this is the last issue I needed to finish this series, so that's another one off the list. Kung Fu, R Richard Dragon Kung Fu Fighter number 17. I only need one more. I need 16 to finish this series, so I'll have to hit that a little hard. Um, this is some half price book stuff here. This is Vampirilla Unholy. It's a uh, variant. It's a black and white, one in 20 variant. Uh, Masters of the Universe, number one. Just really like the Skeletor uh, cover. And Pokemon, the Electric Tail of the Pikachu, number one, new stand. Uh, this is a probably a $60 book, maybe more. Ended up picking up this for $13 after the discount at Appraise Books. And <laughs> Trans Migrant Interdimensional Taxi Service. Not going to read that upper part, but <laughs> I've, this was there for a buck. I had to grab it. I don't know. <laughs> um, also picked up uh, Descender, number one, been optioned. 
War Machine at number one. This is, I don't know, I think they call this the standard because the usually you see it with this, uh, the uh, gold or the silver foil on it. This does, this is just a really uh, regular matte version. So had to grab that. And then Batman Punisher number one. The only reason I grabbed it is it's a new stand. Then Chrissy Claus number two, still poly bag. Decided to grab that. All right, so that was it from half price. Then went to another local store. Built these books here. This is G.I. Joe Special Missions number one. Really like this. It's a cover by. Reminds me a little bit of that Art Adams book that I showed in my last video. Um, and this is a Brandon Peterson sub variant. So uh, Men in Black number one, Retribution. Sorcery number eight. This is the first appearance of Cobra, I believe it is. Cobra, yeah. First and only appearance of Cobra. Not the other Cobra that is in DC Comics, or, or that's in DC Comics. This is Archie Comics, so. Uh, Itchy and Scratchy number one. X-23 number 16. I forget who this is appearance of, but there's a first appearance of this uh, person in there. Um... War Machine, uh, well, this is Punisher 218. This is the lenticular, and it's the first time that Frank Castle uh, dons the uh, War Machine armor. Okay, some Walmart stuff here. Here is B Batman, the Long Halloween. This is the IMAX special. Uh, this is the Batman Killing Time, the movie uh, picture uh, variant. And Batman Long Halloween Special, as well as Batman the Imposter Second Print. I like that cover. So um, all these came out of a Walmart pack. Okay, so now I bought from two, three people on IG, and two of them I got a little confused on. Uh, keys are us and help me find my keys. So if either of you listen to this, I, I'm sorry that I, I can't remember which is which on this one here, but um, this is part of the first one that came from either of those IGs. This is um, Carnage number, Extreme Carnage number five or, or six. It's a Scotty Young cover. Um, Wolverine, uh, X, X lives of Wolverine, uh, trading card variant and spawn 319 as well as spawn. Okay. No. So this, yeah. So these, these were the books that came from him. So thank you so much for that. Then I picked up, speaking of spawn number issue 269. So now I have a complete spawn run from issue one through 269 complete. So just slowly chipping away towards 300 or so on that. Uh, then I picked up uh, Spawn 311, the black and white, uh, one in 10, as well as the color version. This is the uh, the Chadwick Boseman um, uh, in memory variant. Okay, so this came from, these next books came from either the other one, Keys or Us or Help Me Find My Keys. And this is Simpson Comics number 72, Ice Cream Man number 20, the uh, Dr. Seuss variant, Sensational She-Hulk 59, the second to the last issue, Comic Reader 218, and that is, and then that one more group here this i know these i know came from help me find my keys i, I bought a second batch from him so this is uncanny x-force number four the variant nomad number one i always wanted this when it came became hot there so uh he had it for five bucks got it for him. and uh miss marvel captain marvel i think this is number 25 um it's a variant, really like this cover. Amazing Spider-Man number 55, the Gleason cover. I think this second print, yep, second print. Spawn 310 with, I believe that's Mandarin Spawn. It's a McFarlane cover. Dark Avengers number two, the variant. Batman White Knight. This is the first appearance of uh, some kind of a Harley or Joker. <clears throat> 
um, Infinity, this is the one in 25 or whatever. Um, uh, the, um, uh, the, well, this is Black Dwarf. This is the, the uh, Opeña design cover. Um, happy to get that one. And then this one was the one I really wanted the most. This is Damn Doctor Strange Damnation number two, the first appearance of the new um, uh, 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 Midnight Suns. All right, so thank you. Help me find my keys, and keys are us. I appreciate that. Um, these next group of books I bought off of eBay. Uh, bought some robot chickens. This is Batman 29, robot chicken variant, uh, one in 25s. Forever Evil, number seven, robot chicken. Justice League of America 13, robot chicken. Number 29, the robot chicken. And Aquaman, number 12, robot chicken. Um, picked up the one in 25, I believe these are, uh, Stuart E. Moman, uh, New Avenger variants. This is to issue number one with, uh, Luke Cage, number two with Spider-Man, number three with Wolverine, number four with Jewel, and number five is right here with the thing so i do have that's that's a complete set of those so kind of like those <clears throat> okay another group of books i bought from this guy was uh some mad variants uh now the mad variants were uh done twice kind of like the bombshells the first ones were one in tens and the second ones were a series were one in 25 so this is aquaman number 19 one in 10 batman number 19 one in 10 mad variant batman 30 uh issue number 31 in 25 variant detective comics 19 one in uh, 10 variant <clears throat> Flash 19, 1 in 10 variant. Green Arrow 19, 1 in 10 variant. I really like this one. Green Lantern number 19, 1 in 10 variant. Justice League 19, the 1 in 10 variant. Justice League number 30, the 1 in 25. Justice League of America number 3, 1 in 10 mad variant. Justice League of America number 14, 1 in 25 variant. Supergirl 19, 1 in 10 variant. Superman 19, 1 in 10 variant. Teen Titans 19, 1 in 10 variant. And Wonder Woman 1 in 10 variant. Okay. Picked up. Finally finished the trifecta on the darker image. This is the gold version. So now I have the gold version, the platinum version, and then the regular version. This is still polybagged with the uh, Max card in it. Um, need to find a new stand. I, I'm, you know, if I find it, that's great, but I'm not gonna go crazy for it. But so finally finished that trifecta. Found a Gen 13 Zero ash can, um, J. Scott Campbell. These will go for probably 30 bucks on eBay any given time on average. Um, Superman, okay, so this one I bought. This is the third IG purchase. This is from TM Comics. And uh, this is Superman Wonder Woman number three, the Gillum March variant. Uh, really, really like this cover. Really wanted this for quite some time. He had it uh, at a real reasonable price. Him and I came up with a reasonable price. So thank you so much, sir. I really, really appreciate it. All right. And um, this, I can't read comics or somebody showed this. And I really fell in love with it. So I went out and went hunting for it. This is Challengers of the Unknown number three. If you're not familiar with this, this is what they call the prototype, I guess, for the Fantastic Four. There's some very eerie similarities. This came out in 1956, I believe, and uh, FF1 came out in 61. But what happens is they, they go up into space, they get zapped by some cosmic rays. He comes back and has flame powers, invisibility, sorts, uh, same powers 
uh, some of the same powers that they had for the Fantastic Four. So, um, yeah, so very happy to get this. This is, people are starting to catch on to this now. So this is becoming more and more pricier. And um, if you're interested, I'd probably jump on this now rather than uh, wait, especially after watching uh, Doctor Strange. That might uh, put some emphasis on it. Um, finally found some more Batmans. Jeez, took forever, but... This is Batman 104 and Batman 105. Batman 105 is the second appearance of Batwoman. Uh, so it's a little pricier book to find. So now I have everything from 103 until it ends and then all of the new 52 and uh, quite a chunk of the rebirth. <clears throat> um, it, depending on where you your cutoff is for the Silver Age, some people are there's a camp to think 103 of batman is the uh, beginning of the silver age and there's others that believe that issue 98 is the beginning of the silver age i once i get issue 101 i will have everything from 98 until it ends so i'm only missing issue 101 that'll give me all the uh 100s <laughs> triple digits and uh and like i said from 98 on so gotta get me a 101 mark it on that one all right almost done guys <clears throat> okay <clears throat> bought a, a group of books from a guy on ebay and the last of them is why i ended up doing it uh, but here is some some number one and number one the variant the connecting cover uh, number two, regular cover, and number two, the connecting variant. Um, some Grim Fairy Tale books. These are all holiday editions. Uh, this is, I don't know, 2011. 2011 holiday. I like this one a lot. I didn't realize it was the Comic Fest one. I'm going to have to look for the regular one eventually, but um, this is, I like that cover a lot. Uh, the Halloween special, number two, I think this is. Um, Halloween special from 2012. Halloween special, I don't know what this is from. But these are all $5 books, $10 books, nothing real pricey. Uh, Lola, number one, uh, this is the regular cover. And this is the variant, one of the variants. Lola, number two. This is the regular cover. And this one here can go for $10 to $15, this uh, variant here, to number three. Okay. And to round this haul out, um, working on my steampunk uh, variants, DC 52 uh, steampunk variant month. This is uh, Superman Wonder Woman number five. This is one of the pricier. There's like four really pricey steampunks. There's uh, Wonder Woman, Batwoman, um, uh, Batgirl, Harley Quinn, and this one. So five, I guess. Um, but this is this one I got. I had to get it from the from somewhere overseas, and it took a little while. But happy to get it. Um, so now I only need um, four more to finish my uh, steampunk vent. So speaking of that, this was the set I really wanted from this guy on eBay that had the sum sums and uh, the grim fairy tales and stuff. So all of these uh, were in one big lot, and this is. The next few are all doubles, so if anyone's interested. This is Nightwing 98 Steampunk. These are all 1 in 25s. Justice League Dark 28. Justice League 28 Steampunk. Justice League of America number 12. Green Lantern New Guardians. Superman or Batman Superman number 8. And Batman and Two Face 28. Aquaman 28, all steampunk variants. And then these are the ones I was happy to get. This is Green Lantern Core 28, steampunk variant. Flash 28. Superman 28. 
and you got it finally finally have this in my collection wonder woman 28 steampunk variant this is easily a 200 dollars book raw easy any day of the week and um i bought the whole set all 12 for le uh, less than what this book goes for let's put it that way so very 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 happy to finally have this it completes my steampunk set so even happier about that and that's going to do it. Uh, this is Vin Crew uh, signing off. And I uh, wanted to say thank you once again for anybody who uh, helped me out with the support of Comic Book Addict Sale and bought some books. And even those that uh, just looked and it didn't work out and maybe next time in the future. But Vin Crew signing off.